Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Shadow of Death, the second and final official expansion for the legendary turn-based strategy series. Don Hayes is the name, and Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is the game. We have collected the pieces of the Angelic Alliance, but Sandro learned of our efforts and blocked our path. The bulk of his army now separates us from each other. We must break through the Necromancer's army and converge upon one point. Once we join the pieces of the Angelic Alliance, we can defeat Sandro. If we fail, he will dominate all of Antagorich. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Unholy Alliance campaign. We are on Scenario 11 and the penultimate scenario of this entire Shadow of Death story arc. Alright, Scenario 11, Union. Defeat all of the necromancers in the area and create the Angelic Alliance to win the scenario. However, if Jem, Jelu, Craghack or Yorg are defeated in combat, the scenario is lost. The four heroes are limited to level 40 but will carry their experience, skills and spells onto the next scenario. I am going to rock and roll with 30 marksmen. Let's do this. We are separated from the others by the inlet. Both groups must stabilise their foothold and drive back the necromancers from the contested lands and Avli. The necromancers have a stranglehold on the area, but we should be able to drive them out. There are Arathian troops scattered throughout the area, and with the Angelic Alliance, our troops should not have trouble working together. Right, boys, this should be way easier for us. The simple fact that we've got Town Portal. Just gonna grab Grag Crag in there, take him out. Grab some gubbins. We have been woodcutters for generations and this is our wood mine. No one shall take it from us. Oh, set me. Of course. Your nemesis. This is our ore pit and you are not welcome to mine it. We have been here for a long time, waiting for the supplies necessary to make it operational again. Don't think you'll be allowed to just waltz in here and start... Start working this ore pit. Time to die, you fleshy fool. <laughs> well, okay then. I'm glad not everything says stuff, to be honest. Oh, boots of speed, nice. Okay. So that town hall's the first port of call for both of these towns. Oh, we've got Helm Enlightenment twice because we picked up twice. Ha! <laughs> That's actually hilarious. There we go. You possess all of the components needed to assemble the Angelic Alliance. Do you wish to assemble this artifact? Hails, yeah, yeah. So 34, 36, 32, 33. Woof. So allows Rampart, Tower, Fortress, Stronghold and Castle Creatures to be mixed without morale penalty for the player. Cast Expert Prayer at the start of combat, so... We should be able to just absolutely decimate this mission now. Oh, I totally, totally forgot to uh, pass the marksman on. Because marksmen become, eventually, oh, I might as well grab Yog with this actually. So Yog is, can you believe that Yog is almost as well statted as Jellu? Hot damn. If only this guy had a little bit more magic. Woof. It's actually impressive. Just 
Just doing a little bit of scouting. Just grab whatever I can get. This is a huge map, by the way, folks. My gosh. This is a monster. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. Actually, what am I doing? I'm pretty sure I've got Destroy Undead. Much easier. Actually, no, he can't have destroyed dead. He's not uh, can't cast level three spells. I've got no AOE spells at all, actually. Ten gold off. <laughs> Naturally. We are going to divide and conquer with Yog. But Jelly's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting this uh, this mission. Fee for each sultans. That actually might be a tricky. Let's kill at this stage of the game. Hello, Poppet. Thanks. Take that. They weren't expecting to see me there. <laughs> Peekaboo nerd. Craig, if you could be so kind as to move out of my way. This would be great. Please and thank you. Match one. Mark it. Ooh, hello. Oh shit, Sandro! Okay, well, this could go south. Eh, yeah, probably will go south. Let's see. Back in hell. so close all right um Ugh, how annoying okay fine how can we do this in a different way Got new money Does that mean I get to go before them? Uh, maybe. Mm.
does. Okay. That definitely almost worked. I'm deciding to beat this guy. I have a plan now. So resurrect is definitely the answer. That first. What I would need to do. Time magic. I do. That's a problem. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to find an answer to this actually is actually really interesting to me. Okay. Do, then it's different. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. Just want to wait everything out. Resurrect you. Some of that. Research on combination artifacts had continued after the four of you left to search for the Angelic Alliance. The wizards discovered a horn made of precious metals called the Cornucopia. If you put the ever-pouring vial of mercury, the ever-smoking ring of sulphur, ever-flowing cloak of crystal and ring of infinite gems together, they will make this Cornucopia. Rumours have surfaced that these items, along with a few bags of gold, are circulating throughout the area. No doubt Sandro's forces are also seeking them. Let's be free sultans. Out of the cloud, streaking towards you are the air elementals, and they seem to have brought their bigger brothers, the storm elementals. With nowhere to run, you are trapped and forced to fight them. Luckily, good old uh, Chain Lightning is the answer to these guys. Still can't quite upgrade them, unfortunately. New, new. Shouldn't lose anything here, actually. Sandro's down for the count, at least for a little while. We would be more than happy to let you work this gold mine, just so long as you let us drink your blood. No? Then I guess we fight. 
Hells nah. Sandro must be somewhere nearby. It was Sandro's town, I mean. Hell no. Absolutely no reason to be losing troops, especially sharpshooters. over here. Money is a bit of an issue, not gonna lie. This one got to a capital, it needs oh my god, all sorts of stuff. And we're running low on time to find their base. Need to get as much as we can. Oh, this is a great artifact. Oh, I found their base way just a bit too late. You know what? Now I know where it is. Should just beeline it there. Nope. Money really 
is going to be the problem. This uh... Mission, you are more than welcome to feed upon this crystal vein as long as we are allowed to feed upon your own veins. No, no, no. Don't be silly. One spell and the dead are gone. By the way, it's interesting that after we defeat Sando, we didn't get the combination artifacts. I've literally just um, just thought about that. That's weird. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Disaster has struck. Thieves entered the castle late at night, killed the guards and stole as much gold as they could run off with. This will set back your building schedule quite a bit. I didn't really have that much money to begin with, to be honest. So, <laughs> isn't that bad. I, not ideal either, but you know. With all of the fire elementals in the area, maybe you should be more careful and avoid getting yourself entangled with another ambush. Fortunately, there don't seem to be any around at the moment. Some red, interestingly. Power liches, that could be hard to fight. Let's that. Gem. You weren't on guard enough and are being attacked by fire elementals. be anyway, so I'm not too fussed. How much money are we getting per turn? Nine and a half grand, nice. No, no, no. Oh, he's strong. Jesus, okay, wow. Rip me, I guess.
Can't really lose them. Shoot. I've got no way of rezzing. That's unfortunate. Fancy not having resurrect. Definitely feel that's a winnable fight, but I just need to think about how we're going to tackle that. Another way of doing this. Create some more targets, see if that helps. Maybe they're just death ripple now or something. Oh, he's got magic resistance. Interesting. One I really wanted to kill didn't die. Damn it! Oh, <laughs> so close! Oh, ye gits! Maple always survives with magic resistance. It's actually showing me just how powerful magic resistance is. It's like, like this is an easy fight without magic resistance. With oof, it's rough. And then we lightning bolt, matey boy. Move him up. Defend. And you we shall shower these two. Just move him over there. Deary me. How good's the ballista? Oh, fucking hell. 
Okay, well, that's uh, that's answered my uh, my thing for me. Go dark cloud. Teleport to you. I'm really just drawing decks I got undead in my army, so let's just chain lightning instead. Let's go Rainhaven. Strange things have been sighted near the small town of Gourney. The ground seems to be on fire, but nothing burns near it. Some have seen a spectacular orb sitting in the middle, its fiery surface swirling the beautiful oranges and reds of fire. Others say there are fire elementals dancing among the flames, but no one can tell for sure. So let's back it up. He hasn't got an army at all. Yog, we should probably get to a town or get closer to a town so that I can take the archers off him to turn into sharpshooters. Is that all around us? have a proper sh fight shall we lads I should probably hold fire don't want them to retreat too quickly Cast Mention Door again. Nice Equestrian's Gloves, he loves it. Oh, fantastic. That's actually really close to where we need to go. Yog. This is Yog's army. 
Then I'm going to go White Moon. Meet up with Yog. Yog's going to trade me. Wow, that's a lot. Yog's got an army. I've got an army. Back to Cragmore. Damn. Movement's insane. It's very annoying. Oh, there's the thing of infinite gemmies. So they've got Town Portal. Something we have to be a little bit mindful of. There's a base there. That's quite a well defended base, though. Oh, fucking Sandro's in it. Oh, you're having a laugh, lad. Jesus. That is really unfortunate that Sandro happened to be in there. Of all people. Oh, GG's, I guess. Yoga's good, but he's not Sandro good. He just doesn't have the spells, unfortunately. Lightning Bolt's his best spell. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Although interestingly he doesn't seem to have his combination artifact. Which is weird. Just get out of the way. Luckily, the uh, catapult kind of acts as a before anyone's turn, which is actually really good for us. Fuck. I was going well until that happened. 
<laughs> and he's got resistance as well, just to, you know, pour salt into the wound. And animate death, of course. Okay, so no. why not? Oof. Probably do need to take out Sandro, so let's teleport to White Moon. Sucking me out of base, okay. Mega damage. <laughs> Resurrect 40 at a time, you've got to be kidding me. Chain Lightning. Okay. Oh my shit, are you kidding me? There's no way! <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. That is outrageous. Okay. Oh boy.
Stumbling into camp one night, a poor man collapses onto the ground in front of Jem. She quickly applies her healing magic, and he is able to tell her of his tale. He describes a place where the imps have set up a cache of stolen treasures, but that is only the landmark to a wondrous orb set up on a golden base. The orb swirls as if filled with clouds and actually seems to overflow onto the ground. He saw magical creatures made of nothing more than the clouds floating in and around the orb. Chased out by necromancers, he does not know if the orb is still there or if they have taken it. things I could have killed that's the thing I care about the least so I'll take that take that I will absolutely take that oh he's a mute that's why why didn't work. Wow. This is a this is a tough mission. Even with all the skill we have and all the tidbits of information, this is still <laughs> Really, really tough. Okay, we need to deal with these guys. I'd like to be able to get that base as a base of operations. We need to find out where the main base is. That's the problem. It's the big problem, I should say. Right, transfer those over. Hopefully I should be able to upgrade these guys now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that looks like a necromancer's lands.
things are looking pretty good right now. Oh, I instantly say that and I get attacked. Ooh, Moando. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight. No, wrong one. Shoot. Oh, does the resurrect not kick in until the following turn? Eh. Shoot. This is just not your week. A messenger who was travelling between all of the castles trying to coordinate the assault accidentally was carrying termites. He didn't notice them because he didn't have any wood on him. But the castles are now noticing and it's going to take a lot of wood to rebuild everything and a lot of gold to pay for the exterminator. Also, it's the exterminator's wife, so you have to put appease her with some pretty gems or he won't come and you'll lose all of your defences shoot where's all my money I found a base though another crazy hero defending it lovely Embarrassingly bad. Better. losses.
feel like there should be more than one necropolis base. It's bound to be a several, I should imagine. Who is this then? Not really someone I want to play with right now. This base does seem to be quite central to everything, doesn't it? mindful of running into a level 40 hero that I just cannot deal with. The Forest Guard Scout returns, each of them reporting something of interest. Sandro's movements have been towards your location, and he leads a large army. Some of the generals have the pieces to the cornucopia, but they should be taken out easily. One of the scouts, the last one in, has an interesting tidbit of information. Within the barren lands of the necromancers lie an even more rocky and foreboding land. Traversable, this land holds an orb with a golden base. The orb looks to be made of silt or mud, but the scout could tell it was powerful. It may already be a fallen into the hands of Sandro's hands as he was close by. Castle, actually, should probably be a bit careful there. Okay, let's go. Dark cloud. Top of the wall. Okay, well, I've just. Um, Clouded over that area, so there must be a base. Oh, there's a base there as well. Cool. Uh, hence the town portal. And implosion as it happens. I'm wondering if they're running out of bases now. Seems to be their main base of operations now, so let's go Gorney. What the hell? Can't traverse there, really? Okay. As strong as this hero then. Not very good.
feels like they're pretty much just crushing at this point. Attacking me direct, eh? And ooh, who's this guy? <laughs> Naturally. I have to admit, my army was weak. But the hero is just <laughs> ridiculous. Alive. I don't know the necromancer's bit high we do right here. Look, come on, my beauty. Just about enough movement. Come on, Yog. I believe it's got Stracker in it, though. Oof. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Passing relatively close without spells though, so... There were other heroes or bases then. I can't imagine they got much left. Ah! Red has been vanquished. Congratulations, all of your enemies have been defeated, and victory is yours. This is actually UA11. And then the final, final scenario for Unholy Alliance, and indeed the Shadow of Death campaign, is Fall of Sandro. Defeat Sandro and all of his minions to win the campaign. However, if any of your four heroes are defeated in combat, then you fail. To defeat Sandro's forces in four months, the scenario is lost. Alright, let's roll with 3,000 gold. Let's do this. We face the Necromancer in his lair. The time of reckoning has come, but our vengeance must be carried out swiftly. Sandro has sent for reinforcements from others within Deja. Slow moving as undead are, they will still be here in four months. If we have not defeated Sandro by then, he will surely rule all of Antagorich. Oh, I shudder at the thought. Failure is simply not an option. We are deep within the Necromancer's territory. Most everything is dying here. Only a few trees can cling to the earth after a Necromancer has worked his death magic for so long. Each of us leads a town and has begun preparations for the final assault. Sandro is past the desert. Rumours of deadly traps are, and roving bands of marauders have made us all wary, even the fearless Crag Hack. Right, well, business as usual for us. Yeah, 
Galoo doing all the heavy lifting. The Angelic Alliance. Let's grab some town halls. Because we need money. I'm not going to take everyone's armies. Not even that I need to anyway. Oh, we're actually pretty close and this isn't the biggest of maps, interestingly. In fact, this is a very medium sized map. There is an underground though, so that makes it slightly larger. As always, money is going to be the main issue, especially early game. just how easy it is just to <laughs> smash enemies with destroy undead. It's such a good spell. Running a little bit lower on the old uh, mana. Yog needs a lister. Uh, swap these two around actually. Reports of a teleporter to the underground have surfaced. It is rumoured there are underground caverns filled with treasures beyond your wildest dreams. All you have to do is get by one of Sandro's generals and use the teleporter. Okay. We found enemy base, boys.
need to be careful with movement actually at this point. Since we're deep in enemy territory, need enough movement so that I can use a uh, teleport to get out of there. No defences at all. Woof. I'll also use Yog as well. Turn the fire magic. Oh yeah, I'm weak to that. Wow. That was actually a lot. Huh. Could be a challenging fight. Let's see what we can do to even the odds. Mutual Shadow works on these things, don't they? It's an earth magic spell. Yeah, nice. Slow is so brutal. I mean, Jesus. Not even close, mate. Not even close. There's a teleporter. there then. Our brother and once beautiful dragons who lived in these lands, now they are in... They're the hideous ghosts of what they once were, under the control of a mere mortal necromancer. If you put their souls to rest, we will give you the key to the great treasures. Or a key to the great treasures, right, okay. Cool.
That's worth grabbing. Oh, there. That's a lot. Fight that just yet. Not with him, anyway. Found another base, nice. We have quickly returned sawmills and ore mines to production. With four castles, our resources will be stretched thinly. It will be imperative to quickly look for other resources and money needed to get a town up and running. Each of us is scouring the land, sending out scouts. The necromancers have mostly built towns and are ahead of us. I have sent word home, hoping we will receive reinforcements, but I do not know if any will come. of knots. Okay. Yoink. Nothing to see here. I didn't actually do that. Oops. Finally got a capital. Doing for money now. 13 G's a turn. Beautiful. Actually, we should definitely stop their production of mercury. That's how we get some um, Sandro's um, lair then. Vilmar, hey? No, 
manor at all, nice. I want them to retreat just yet, so let's hold fire. This is a great kill if we can get in. Beautiful. Equestrian's glove, nice. He's beautiful. Oh, which lovely it is. base over here at least one kind of uh, feels like a bit of an end of an era being this close to the end of uh, this campaign in shadow of death Space over here somewhere. There is. Oh, that's where Sandro is, I presume. I'm kind of curious what that is. Oh, sorry, I'll come back to it. It's fine. It's a bit dark eternal. Now I see the layout of the map, I think I know where another base might be. She's barely got any mana. Time to start building up the bases, boys. It's near City Hall. I can't believe how strong Yogg is. And he's literally only got Helm of Enlightenment. These are all just base stats. Christ. <laughs> Guy is an absolute machine. One of the artifacts researched was the Elixir of Life. 
Jellu had gathered its components for Lord Faloral, who had obviously not used it, but instead hid it so no one could use it against him. This artifact could be very useful if it is found. The mages have traced it to this region, but do not know its exact location. 50 hobgoblins for you, okay. Oh, water magic. No, no, no. Found another enemy base as well, which is great. Fireball or Inferno? We do have Fireball. And we have an Inferno. Yeah, Inferno it is. Reason I'm using Inferno obviously double damage versus water elementals, which is great. Oh shit, yeah, that's a good point. So expensive upgrading all of this stuff. That's all their bases. It has to be, except for them, obviously the main one, which I presume has Sandro in it. Oh, Tamika got resurrected. Too bad. So she pops up over there. Okay. We should probably go back to one of our uh, actual bases. their last hero that's able to roam unless they've got other bases which is possible I haven't even looked on ground yet so Da, da, da. 
What was that? Oh, it's there. So, black water. So, are they getting out of the base, or was that just the last hero? That's not a huge amount. I reckon we could smash that. A mystic wanders into camp begging for food. Crag Hack demands that the mystic earn his food and lodging. So the old man eyes the large barbarian very carefully. He then says, The ghost dragons are the key to getting the elixir of life. After saying this, he proceeds to eat and ignores Crag for the rest of the night, to Crag's great irritation. <laughs> We cannot leave this place. Only if we were able to fly could we be could we possibly leave. The boots of levitation are our only hope. There is a huge lake we must cross, and without permission to take the boat, we are stuck here. With the boots, we would be able to walk across on our own and disappear into other Deja territory. Okay. Right. Okay. I think I know what we need to do. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a piece of cake. Christ almighty. Wow. Thank you so much for your heroic deed. I know it was difficult to face them, even in their weakened condition. Here is the elixir of life. You may keep it or trade it in. There are those who below who would trade this item for something you may find more useful. Seek out the teleporters and maybe you will find something of even more value. Mm. All creatures get 25% health bonus in game regeneration. Does not work with undead or unliving creatures. Yikes, that's good. Um. Okay. Goodness. Get you guys in and around here. What the hell? What ore pit? That's so random. Go Kruba. Is there like a fake ore pit that's there or something? Most peculiar. What's the... Is it... Hang on. Oh! Maybe it's the rings? Oh, I need both rings bases, don't I? Don't really need equestrian's gloves, to be perfectly frank. Both strings useful. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, that's worth grabbing.
Oh, timber, magic I see. Those golems were set two centuries ago to protect two tomes of magic stolen from the elemental lords. Now you must defeat all 200 of the guardians to gain access to the precious books. Two? I can only see one. make a big difference in the health pool actually, doesn't it? Sixteen health. Oof. Walled safely within your castle, the forces of undead are unable to break through. For quite some time they stay outside, trying desperately to get in. Then one day your men start coming down with the plague. The necromancers had poisoned your water supply with rotten meat, and now you must pay quite dearly for the healing we need. Woof. Okay, so this is probably the weakest tier 7 unit in my opinion, the uh, the old Chaos Hydra. I don't know, they just... I feel like they should be so much better than they are. They are proper weak source. It's a shame because Hydras in historic Heroes games have always been one of the best units. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a shame to see them fall from grace really. Kill one. Yikes. So weak, bros. So weak. We are the Guardians and you will not be allowed to get enter here. Do not think you can easily get by us. Uh, that was pretty easy. <laughs> the Forest Guard has reported back with information you need. Sandro is walled in behind a guarded tower and they will not budge. Apparently there are some people who wish to get out of Dejah, but they need the Boots of Levitation to do so. If you bring them the boots, they will allow you to pass through their guarded tower and you can defeat Sandro at his castle. I've spent my life buying, selling and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces, I can hardly turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. If you could bring me the elixir of life, I will reward your efforts. Power of the Dragon Father, what the hell does that do? Six to all primary skills, all troops remain to first to four spells. Um is that better? 
I can't remember what artifacts make that up. I'm sure it has overlap with what I've already got, so I can't carry both anyway, so... I think I'm going to skip that, boys. Can teleport us everywhere, Jesus Christ. This is our realm. Mortals are not allowed. Prepare to become part of the Ether. This is our... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We will not allow anyone to disturb our sanctuary. Now you will be liquefied and added to our pools. See, so you can trade it for loads of different types of uh, combination artifacts then. I mean, Power of the Dragon Father is a really good um, combo artifact, to be clear. But I think it has overlap with... I think it's a lot of like the Crown of the Dragon thing, the Helm of the Dragon Tooth, all, that, all those types of um, artifacts. Reports of nomads move quickly across the deserts reach your ear. It is possible to hire these men and help your troops move faster across the desert and into Sandro's area. All you must do is look for the striped tent. Our oh, phoenix. Interesting. This is our territory, a phoenix screech. Die! Yeah, I'll take that. Right, we need dragons, boys. A bit slow to produce dragons, actually, unfortunately. Oh, it's pretty powerful, but no. I actually think the Electro Life is actually better than all of these anyway, for the most part. I mean, some of those are situational. I, th I think the um, the only one I would trade is for the uh, that power one. We shall let none pass. Jamieson the Seer is attempting to help his mother, who supports air and water magic, but does not appreciate our powers. For her impudence, we will not allow anyone through. See that? Yeah, no, don't think that's beneficial either. One of your agents holds the boots of levitation but you must bring 50 hobgoblins to know you are not a trick from the necromancers he also wants the extra troops to continue his work within the deja borders you will need to visit this hut to defeat sandro oh i know where that is cool yeah okay so pretty sure we've been everywhere now Yeah, nice. Okay. Time to build our army and give Slander a good old slap in. I actually just not click that. No.
so much money. Da -na -na, na -na -na. Also need fifty hobgoblins, so come back for them. Pretty sure it was that one. No, it wasn't that one. Where was that seer? Remember it being in our lands. the one of like, oh it was there somewhere was it oh, I thought it was on our side oh, I stand corrected it's over here apparently oh yeah there he is great now we can do more reconnaissance into Deja give us the 50 hobgoblins and we'll give you the boots of levitation from here you can go to the guards outside his tower they want to escape, but cannot. With the boots of levitation, they'll be able to run away, and you can pass through the gates to kill Sandro. Or at least wallop him one good. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so... Five for those. Right, I think we've got the army we need now. I'm going to go to Blackwater. Now we'll wallop him one good. Yeah, we can deal with that. Give us the boots of levitation and we will leave you so you may pass. Otherwise, we are at a stalemate. Alright boys, this is it. Final battle, the final campaign of Heroes of Might Magic 3. Let's go! Looking good. Even without spells we can give him a slap. Wow, he's really weak. In comparison to previous versions of Fort Imp. Okay. Let's have all these gubbins though. <laughs> Nine, that, that, what? The ghost dragons do a hundred and fifty nine damage. What? Bloody hell. The seven ghost dragons. What the? What the hell? Oh my Christ. Alright, it's a 42 attack. Just makes us complete that and Yeah, alright. Even with curse we're absolutely destroying the enemy. Um Yeah, okay. 
cool. GG's. We <laughs> have absolutely no chance. Oh my god. <laughs> 842 damage with curse. Crikey, Chief. I actually feel bad. We are so, so strong. <laughs> I mean, wow. Bad. Okay. GG's, boys. GG's. That was too, too easy. He should have had way more stats than that. All right, well, that's it. Campaign over. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated and victory is yours. Holy Alliance 12. After realizing how corrupting these artifacts are, we decided to split them up into less powerful components and disperse them throughout Antagorich. As for us, we decided to separate as well, to distance our thoughts from a disaster history may never record. Woof. That was one hell of a campaign. And reminding me just how uh, brutal Shadow of Death really is. Well, I must say that's definitely the easiest I've ever blast or blitzed through this campaign. Can you believe Rise of the Necromancer actually had a better score? Interesting. Woof. Alright, folks, well, that will right about do it for the entirety of the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 campaign. Um, at least the official campaigns. Um... I will probably be looking at the Chronicles series next, but I am actually going to take a short break from Heroes. I'm actually going to be doing June Spice Wars next as my next series. In any case, folks, thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video and indeed the series. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.